to take. Talk a little bit about how this works in these uh, RAND Corporation Design meetings. Yeah, this is actually quite cool. Um, you know, you have to certainly give them credit because they have thought this through and it's very well engineered. And if you're not paying attention and you're not, uh, you know, hip, you're, you're going to get sucked right into this thing. And especially, I have to say, if you're just like, sitting at home, you know, not going to these meetings, you're certainly not going to be making, uh, you know, a resistance if you don't know what's happening right there in the center of your town. So what you get is, yeah, come on down, give us your opinion on this cool new plan for the, you know, development of this exciting thing about the development of, uh, you know, the center of your town. So you go there and they have it set up so that, you um, uh, I, I describe this really fully in my book, and I show you how to anti-Delphi these meetings. Delphi technique is about giving groups of people the impression that what they're seeing and what they're participating in is all their idea, mm -hmm. while directing them to a predetermined outcome that they literally, you literally have no impact on. That thing is all typed up, printed up, set up, ready to go before you walk in the door. And they may, you know, change the color of the park benches or something, but they're not <laughs> going to change that plan. And yeah. this is the way it's designed. To give people an idea, I look on the back of this flyer and it says, the purpose of this meeting is we're going to define the purpose and identify the needs of the proposed project could address, including lack of transportation options. We're going to allow the public to learn more about the history of the proposed project. We're going to identify issues that should be studied, including regional air quality and natural resources. And we're going to give you the opportunity to tell us how the proposed project could address your transportation needs. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go in and I'm going to tell these people exactly what I need. And they're going to custom design for me, Rosa, a light rail transportation system that's going to exactly match my needs, aren't they? <laughs> it is. So, oh, yeah. And, you know, let's say you go in there, David, and you're just, you know, real contrarian. And you go, you know what? I really dig my car. I yeah. really think I like driving my car. Yeah. And they're going to go, uh-huh, right. And next, you know, they don't want to hear anything that does not go right along with the idea that you're going to be living in a condo on top of a shop smart growth in the center of your transit oriented development town which got funding from the federal government to put on that meeting that you're being indoctrinated in 3.7 million dollars david in hud funds went to central texas some of it went to elgin and that's the meeting that you're talking about mm -hmm. in order to in order to implement this plan and this is all across the united states every every year hud gives out 100 million bucks to, uh, to little, you know, areas so that they'll use these indoctrination techniques on the people. Wow. And yes, you're not going to give, uh, you're not going to be given any other options. And mm -hmm. if you don't like it, you know, this is what you have to do. You've got to take those meetings down. And we show you, I, in that book, um, Behind the Green Mask, my book, um, there's 20 pages in the back of the book on what to do. And it's a narrow, small book. And part of that is a real in-depth focus on how to take down a Delphi meeting. And it's very exciting. It's a lot of fun to do it. And um, you can really send these guys packing. Just uh, take them right out of your town. That's an excellent book, and we all need to get active. It, a large part of this, of course, as we said at the very beginning, is an education process. We see a lot of people understand that. That's why we've got bills being introduced and state legislatures, uh, the three states that I mentioned, uh, a good source to find out what's going on with that is, of course, Rosa Corey's website. She's got a blog, Democrats Against UN Agenda 21.com. You can find out information there. Of course, some of those articles I was reading were from the 10th Amendment Center. You mentioned, hey, I really dig my car, and, you know, I really do dig driving. One of the things, though, that I think is on the, head, uh, on the uh, horizon right now is taking over the cars. And I think there's even mm -hmm. going to be competition with these light rail projects. Of course, they'll still fund the light rail projects because it's not even a, never been about transportation. It's always been about paying off corporate donors. But before they even get these light rail projects built, I think they're going to have a control grid imposed upon our cars. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, well, part of that, I mean, just, you know, the initial thing was OnStar, which, you know, a lot of your vehicles have that where they can literally be shut off remotely from another location. In other words, let's say somebody, suppose the, the deal is that, oh, somebody rips you off, takes your car, and um, you report it stolen, and the car can be shut off remotely and disabled. Um, but, but what these, you know, this is a real uh, great indicator that you should not be an early adopter of technology. 
Yeah, because absolutely. we're getting here. Hang we're on, we're going to explore that a little bit more with Rosa Corey, author of Behind the Green Mask, UN Agenda 21. We've got to go to a commercial break. Rosa, we'll be right back. Stay with us. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems and enhance overall health. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com oil of oregano formulation, a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market, sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy to use capsules you will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue wild crafted from the mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire this winter season it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano now available in our limited first run at infowarslife.com that's infowarslife.com or call 888-253-3139 Big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. MyPatriotSupply.com is owned and operated by patriots just like you, has the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com has old-fashioned values and the absolute best customer service in the industry. Look for the deal of the day, unique affordable survival survival supplies that fit anyone's budget. Get same-day shipping on all orders and free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866-229-0927, 866-229-0927, or visit MyPatriotSupply.com for emergency preparedness, self-reliance, and food independence. Shop with a name you know and a name you can trust. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. Hey, guess what? They've got some great deals for Valentine's Day at Guns80.com. They're calling it the Sweetheart Special. Guns80.com has lowered the price way down to 400 bucks up until Valentine's Day. Order your Ghost AR-15 now. Tell your sweetheart that this is the right gift at the right time. Buy one for yourself. Buy one for your sweetheart, too. Your sweetheart will thank you for being so tuned into his or her needs. Get a brand new Ghost AR-15 right now for 400 bucks. Heck, buy two. His and hers. Go to guns80.com or call and ask for the sweetheart deal. Love is in the air at guns80.com. Call now, 844-2-GUNS-80. That's 844-248-6780. It's a sweetheart of a deal. Actually, it's a steal at 400 bucks. So call guns80.com at 844-2-GUNS-80. But hurry, supplies are limited. Call 844-2-GUNS-80 or get your Ghost AR-15 today at guns80.com on the web. Hear that? That's the sound of a house being trashed while a gang of thieves ransack the place. And what they don't steal will be destroyed. This year, resolve not to be the next victim of a break-in. Go to faketv.com and discover a device that creates the illusion someone inside is watching TV, even when you're miles away. Security is a mindset, and fake TV should be part of your security solution. Be vigilant, but not fearful. faketv.com a lot of people's lives and bodies are out of balance. AlkaVision Plasma pH drops optimize pH level and get rid of harmful waste and acid. Just a few drops in water restores vibrance and energy and gets you back in balance. Now order two bottles and get $10 off your order. Sign up for monthly auto shipping and save 25%. Call 800-518-7615 or visit alkavision.com. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at alkavision.com. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm your host, David Knight, and we have joining us on the phone, Rosa Corey, author of Behind the Green Mask, UN Agenda 21. We were talking in the last segment about how managed this whole process is where they come into your areas. They just came into uh, the area where I live saying, we'd like for you to come to a, a meeting to talk about how we can help you with your transportation needs and make this uh, area more sustainable. They always use the green mask of sustainability. Rosa Corey worked as a uh, 
real estate specialist, and she recognized what was going on with this. And here's where the magic is. She recognized that it wasn't something that was just going on in her area, because I always like to say, uh, this is just something that's happening locally, and uh, we want your input at the meeting. No, this is something that has been pre-planned. They have a very specific way they sell this to the public and these uh, Rand Corporation uh, controlled meetings, these Delphi meetings. She speaks about that in her book about how they try to manipulate you and how you can shut that process down. And we're going to take some of your calls in the next segment. We've got some people who want to talk to you about that, uh, Rosa. And we're going to take uh, calls in the next segment uh, to Rosa about Agenda 21, any issues that you're concerned with. We had just started talking about how they've been selling this as part of light rail. They, a key part of this, of course, is going to be transportation because they want to keep you in concentrated areas. They don't want you spread out over the country. They want to control the food supply. They want to control travel. That's one of the ways they're going to do it is by controlling transportation, of course. And so they've been selling these light rail projects. But Rosa, before these things are even going to come online, they're going to have a control grid of cars. We already see uh, articles going back uh, a few months where people are starting to put this together and saying, hey, these light rail projects are going to come up against competition with, quote unquote, autonomous cars. They're not autonomous. They're all rigged into the government where they're going to control where, how, and when you can drive in the cities. And they're saying that uh, putting in these light rail systems is kind of like designing a Pony Express in the world of the telegraph. I think before they even get these light rail systems done, they're going to have this control grid over our highways in place, don't you? Well, if, if you look at the whole overall picture, it's about destroying your economy. And mm -hmm. so light rail is a great way to do it because it really costs a lot of money. It's not that functional. It's very seldom used. And it's really, uh, a, a, it's a hugely expensive project. When you know that Agenda 21 is about inventory and controlling everything on the planet and about uh, full globalization, which is really standardizing all of your systems, and that's done through computers, then you see how the computerization of your movement, of your travel, of your ability to be free is, uh, is actually tying right in with the plan. Because, you know, I mean, of course, if you look at this in a nightmare scenario, you get into your, um, you know, your con computer controlled vehicle, the doors lock and, you know, who knows where you're going to go after that. You may not go where you think you're going. Just like Minority but, Report, we've already seen that acted out in Hollywood. They, they've predicted that for <laughs> right, us to show so, us exactly yeah. what that's going to look like. I know. And in fact, you know, I really don't uh, view popular culture that much. I think it's a big waste of time. But one thing that you do see is that these guys do write the scenarios for mm -hmm. the plan. That's right. And um, so, uh, but one thing that you're going to see uh, with, you know, this this is a corporate plan. It's a mega corporation plan. So it's a neo-feudal fascist Machiavellian plan to actually restrict your ability to move freely throughout the world. It indoctrinates you through your educational system and your entertainment system. And it also is selling you and propagandizing you on the cool new technology of the future so mm -hmm. that you will want to be an early adopter. I mean, if I was going to, if I told you that the government was going to force you to hold in your hand a device that tells where you are at all times and what you're thinking about, what you're doing, who you're hanging out with, there's no way you would do that. But instead, you actually pay for it. You've got your iPhone in your hand. I don't have one. It's very inconvenient. Yes. But you know what? Refuse to collaborate with this plan. You do not have to be part of this plan. Rosa, you know, there was a, there were some slides that were leaked as part of the Snowden documents. Uh, not quite a year ago in Germany, and they showed exactly that thing. They, they showed some slides from the NSA, and they had a uh -huh. picture of Steve Jobs and the 1984 commercial behind him. That was when they introduced the Macintosh, and they said, who would have thought in 1984? And then in the next slide, you see Steve Jobs holding an iPhone, and the caption is that this would be Big Brother. And then you see the next slide, you've got people queued up at the Apple store, and they say, and that the people would wait in line to pay for it themselves. So that's, yeah. they understand exactly what that is. And when we look at this control grid, these self-driving cars that they're selling to everybody, you need to understand that this is a combination of the NSA 
and the TSA, at the very least, the worst aspects of both of those, spying on you, controlling your movements, looking at everything that you're doing. Hang on, we got to go to a commercial break. We're going to come back with uh, Rosa Corey, Behind the Green Mask, you and Agenda 21, and we're going to take some of your calls for her asking about what you can do to disrupt these meetings that are going to be coming to your place, regardless of where you live on the planet. We're on the